I always wonder how I actually I should start these videos after a hiatus of some sort, whether I should just ignore it or go straight back into just pretending nothing actually happened, but here we are. Uh, some more GeoGuessr again. I need to, I guess, at least discuss a little bit because I just up and disappeared as much as I didn't want to. That's what just happened. Thetford, Orange County. I feel like I think I know where this is, but as we move along here, let me just, I guess, explain what happened where I was just up and gone. I didn't want to. But um annoying thing about being me is uh, back issues. And I usually get those once a year. I've mentioned this before a couple of times, but it reared its head, head again. I think I know exactly. Yep. Yep. This is the first time I've actually gotten the state, and I'm very happy and or surprised. I've gotten this state, so we are Vermont 113. Problem is, I should know these things, but I don't off the top of my head. 113, here we go. i got to look for Thetford, there we go. Thetford, Route 5. There's Route 5. Um, so we're on probably I-91, one mile from exit 14. We just got into the county, so can I see county lines anywhere here? Probably not, but as I was saying, hurt my back, making it all but impossible to actually like sit down for any period of time, and I just got angry. Chelsea, Lyme, New Hampshire, yep, so we're like right here. Next right, which means we're taking a right, it very well could be this, so we're like down here. Uh, yeah, so even at work, it's 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 an annoying thing, kids. If you ever need any sort of like tips or suggestions, don't hurt your back. If you've hurt your back once, that's too many times already. You're screwed. You should just go ahead and uh, quit any sort of activity of any kind, so you can prevent yourself from getting any sort of like bad issues or pain or whatever to you. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm using. I found this on a subreddit. If you don't know what the NLSS is, Northern Lion, I think I have it actually as a suggestion as an extra channel on here. Uh, I just saw this on a Reddit post not too long ago, and I thought, hey, a more diverse world I got a bit tired of, so I'm going to switch it up a bit. And This one came up, and I thought, you know what? We'll go ahead and do this. So yeah, we're on I-91. That's an Eisenhower interstate system. I believe I've been on this highway before. Been around this part of the United States before, so I'm a bit familiar with it. But anyway, the uh, Fairly and St. Johnsbury. So Fairly, yep, Fairly, and then way up here is St. J, as they like to call it in the area. Uh, and I didn't want to sit here and the way the mic was set up and use my mouse is standing up this entire time. I'm just going to make my guess now and save ourselves a bit of time. Nailed it. I'm happy with that. Anyway, this is NLS and friends. They they say less shitty camera quality, not so many rushes. It's kind of like a little bit of like a more diverse world. I think I might actually do this for the this may be Italy. May do this for the uh, for the week, unless anybody else has suggestions of any kind. And, you know, that was a little bit of time for a couple of weeks, actually. The back issues do last longer than they should, but the older you get, the longer they hang around. And I wish I just, you know, give me a robot back so I don't have to deal with this anymore. I think, like, Northern Italy, I'm going to say. Like, around here somewhere. Um... Yeah, and I got frustrated, and I was just like, fuck everything. And, you know, it's my fault for not telling other people about it, but honestly, that's that's what it came to. And then I spent a lot of time debating whether or not I actually wanted to continue doing this again, because there is an issue the second you break that seal, and what I mean by breaking the seal is stop uploading things. It's very easy to fall back into those traps again. And, yeah, I almost thought, yeah, I'm, eh. I'm doing a bunch of other stuff now. More in, I, in, Okay, I don't want to, like, belittle what I do here because honestly 
the amount of time involved for this, there's really no excuse for not doing it, but also I'm like, I'm doing a bunch of some other stuff. I'd like to have time where I don't need to be doing anything. And it was just a bit of an issue of like, okay, back is still a bit of an issue. Sitting down, it hurts a bit in one leg. Um, no pity, whatever. You know, I've done this to myself. My back's decided, you know what? It's your turn to hurt for a while. And uh, that's basically what happened. But anyway, debating whether or not I should actually continue doing this and up in the air. And, you know, you guys actually bothering to keep watching this. You know, kudos to you. It's not fair of just like disappearing and not saying anything. But, you know, I was frustrated, like I said. But it was it was kind of a mix of a few things. I'm really wishing I can actually... I feel this is Italy, so I'm going to stick with it. Um, it was a couple of weeks of, okay, you know, honestly, compared to all the other stuff I do during the week, I may have an afternoon of not doing anything now. And whether or not I wanted to cram that doing with a bunch of other stuff, it's still up in the air now. But right now... I feel that I can at least do three of these. Maybe some other stuff, because a bunch of stuff just came out. A lot of it's fun. And it was also a combination of another podcast I talked about, where someone else kind of had the same issue I did before. Um, let's see if I can think of the name here. It was called Wooly Figures It Out. I mean, you can find it on YouTube, uh, iTunes and a bunch of other stuff. It's just Wooly, W O. O L I E figures it out. And he talks like in his first little intro podcast, talking about the paralyzation of, you know, you want to do something and you're like, Oh my God, it's not perfect. Everything I do, it's it, it, this can go better. The second you start doing something, you just freeze up because you're always just like that intro could be better. That intro intro could be better. Thinking about the next line afterwards, every, you just over criticize everything and it, 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 it kind of just freezes you from doing anything. And I've had that issue a lot when it comes to, uh, this, and it also comes to doing any sort of like, uh, resumes where all the time I'm sitting there thinking, uh, I'm just going to make my guess. Cause I don't think I'm going to get any better than this. Oh, I just got lucky with the guest there where all the time I sit at the job I had, at least at the time, and I'm like, man, this sucks. I want to get a different job. I'll look at some other positions available. Okay, this seems like an interesting job. And then I look at all the requirements, and one of two things happen. I look at the requirements and think, St. Louis Obispo? Okay. Yeah, all right. Um, I think, let's see, can I find, how, how far do I got to get into St. Louis Obispo? L.A. is down here. I gotta zoom in a bit to see if I can't find it. I think we're north of it. I mean, I've there's only a certain part of California I've actually been to here. St. Louis Obispo is 71 miles, so we're a little north of that. Can I find a ragged point? Anyways, I sit here trying to do two things at once here. Uh, Morro Bay. I keep pretending I see a thing. St. Louis. I gotta find Obispo. 71 miles. Ragged Point should maybe be up oh, Ragged Point. So we're going to be like right around here. The paralyzation I get whenever it comes to like actually attempting to uh, find any new position, you know, comes to, all right, yeah, I want to do it. Whale Watchers Cafe, Gorda Springs. Can I find a, oh, there's Gorda. Can I find a Gorda Springs? I'm just going to click here anyway. Oh, okay, I found a job. All right, what are the requirements? Okay, I am i can't do that. I'm not, real, I'm not like, I don't know how to do any of this stuff. I'm not qualified for it. It's the, the, the problem of second guessing. A lot of people, I don't know how many people have this issue. I know I do when it comes to overthinking, overanalyzing thinking everything that I do is not worth it. We're probably like down here, I'm going to say, because we're getting real granular with this choice. You sit there and you think, 
I can clearly do this job. I look at the prerequisites. Oh, Jesus, why Why do they ask for these things? I've never done that before. I don't know if I can do it. And it just stops myself of, I don't want to waste mine or theirs time looking at this when their prerequisites clearly don't uh, include things I think I'm either competent and or good at. And you just throw your hands up in the air and said, well, fuck, I don't know what the hell to do here. I want to get something else. The jobs I'm looking at that I think I may be qualified for, I clearly aren't. And then you just sit there and do nothing. This is kind of the same issue where you sit there, you look at, well, I keep doing these videos, nothing gets better. I can sit here and just keep continuously fighting myself. I can criticize every sentence I say, every word. Is this the right word to use? These things, I should just keep getting better at this. But the problem is I don't feel I have. I keep talking about going into these things with some sort of actual thought process or anything else. I'm not going to waste any more time here. Nailed it. Great. I'm feeling good. Um, and I should just... I should put more thought into this, but it's also the the time commitment. Maybe a few times at work, I think I could, but I feel like at work I should be focusing on work stuff. But it's it's this constant fight I have, and I should just shut up and put the stuff out. And I finally came to that conclusion after listening to this podcast because he said the same thing of you know you can sit here and fight the, the uh, I want a piglet. Is he in this house? That's a cute pig house. Give me that pig house. Can I go here? No, I can't. So in, in, instead of just self-sabotaging myself in the sense that never being satisfied with anything and then just concluding that stop trying, I think based off this singular sign, we're in this region around here. Instead of self, self-sabotaging, I love saying words, multiple words with S's in it because it comes out awful. I should just do it, put a bit more effort into it than I have. Um, maybe write a topic here or there or think a little harder about what I say because I'm sure a lot of the times I come into these things and try to say something and then I just bumble through it because I'm a goddamn idiot. And I feel I've been a little bit more coherent with this. Maybe it's just this has been a topic I've been thinking about for a very long time. Yeah, I feel we're in this state here. I'm going to click there. And I, I don't want to say I've sat at the office or whatever I was doing, just reiterating this in my head over and over again. That looks like a New York plate, actually. So are we like up here? We're like straddling, straddling the line here. I'm not entirely sold on either one because those actually could be New York plates. Those uh, yellow and blue, it's kind of like an orangey yellow. You know, it's up in the air. Pennsylvania is kind of that too, but they're more bluish than that. Uh, yeah, New York 13. All right. Hopkinson, that's a interesting sculpture. Yeah, all right, so we're in New York. We're, in, we're oh, Hey, I found Puxatani. That's where the uh, groundhog is, if you ever wanted to know. That's where Puxatani Phil lives. So, you know, you've learned something new every day. I'm glad I could help. Custom kitchen cabinets. Deliver a, a, a. We got to move these refrigerators. We got to move these color TVs. There's your anecdote. So going forward again, I know I've said this before. What was it, like two or three weeks into coming back again? I'm putting more effort into this. Can I commit to more than what I have? I'd like to. Like all this week, that's a, tr a, a, a yeah, three-wheeler. They stopped making these because they're incredibly unstable, as you can tell how much duct tape's on that seat. That is an old bike. They don't make those anymore because you can roll those things over so easily. I was on a few of them as a kid. I don't think I actually ever rolled one, but I was deathly afraid of being on like an ATV of any kind and having that happen to me. We are in Williamstown. Let's see if I can't happen to find it here. I doubt I will. So going forward, as I said before, I'm going to try 
I got a few ideas of some other stuff I can do. I don't know how well I'll pull it off, whether or not I will. I kind of like doing this. It's 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 up in the air. I mean, I, I appreciate all the... Well, we're farther up north. I appreciate all the attention you have been giving me so far. And don't ever think that seacoast all right so we're 910 we're on an ocean of some sort this seems a bit of an easy map granted i needed this a little confidence booster it's been a well rough week's a wrong thing to say but okay they don't need two license plates on their vehicles here certain states have different parameters okay so i'm gonna say unless this happens just to be, it's a really ubiquitous college, like as long as popularity. That's North Carolina University at Chapel Hill, more known as North Carolina University. It's pretty popular around here. That's where uh, Michael Jordan went to college for. So we might be in North Carolina somewhere. Seacoast makes me think there. But granted, being a fan of North Carolina University, it's a lot of people in the U.S. can be fans of it. College football, basketball, college sports in general are pretty popular. You know, it's not like Major League Baseball or the National Football League, but it's up there. So it could be. I got to find a way to get to the other side of this road so I can see that school. I don't know. I f Oop. So we have a flag here. We don't have a state flag with us, so that's not going to help. I don't want to keep getting distracted here, but let's go forward. Give me the camera again. Thank you. Yeah, so I committed at least now, I'd like to say, for the foreseeable future, but yeah, I don't want to sit here and pretend. And I also don't want to, like, tease either, but I just want to be honest and say, hey, I kind of want to at least give a bit more effort than I have been. Yeah, that's the North Carolina plate. First in flight, if you want to know what that plate is actually called. A lot of cul-de-sacs here. I believe this is a Marine Corps flag. You can look that up. U.S. Marine Corps flag. It's red with a little bit of logo with the gold tassels on the end of it. A lot of things I'm giving to you if you just want to know what they look like. A lot of Google extracurricular activities you can do for yourself if you want to. I still have not seen any semblance as to exactly where we are in North Carolina, but I feel I feel I got the ooh that guy. That guy's getting a tan, a little burnt. Put a shirt on, buddy. Bald, bit of a gut. Nice shoes though. And you got a tree in a bucket. Good for you. So not to belabor the point anymore. Thanks for dealing with it. You know, gold star for you. You can tell all your friends that you got a gold star. They ask for what, and they don't need to know. They wouldn't understand. Frankly, I don't understand why you keep watching this, but I'm appreciate, appreciative of it. And hopefully going forward, at least more GeoGuessr for the time being. Potentially, I'm trying to actually go back to this high school or school of some sort. I think it's over here. I may have gone a couple of blocks too. Okay, that is not, that's a Patriots flag. And it's not like a flag. It's like one of those old Japanese like banner things on a pole with super short flag. Here's the school. All right. Give me information. Parkwood. Give me Parkwood. I'm sure you're a small enough town that I will not actually find you unless I get real lucky. But I don't think I will. I don't know if I've actually been to North Carolina. I was close. I nailed this one. I needed this. Cool, great. A lot of U.S., but what are you going to do? I only play the ones that pop up when I do this. So, I don't know how I got to this so fast. Only 19 minutes. A bit of a fast one. A lot of points. But anyway, thank you all for watching again. Uh, if you want to come back again, thank you. Uh, as of right now, I've not recorded anything for this week. I've been thinking about maybe doing one or two other things. We'll see if we get to it, if I have time, but I don't want to promise anything. 
I don't want to keep you saying, hey, check back all the time. I'd like to keep you guys a bit more updated than I have been, but I don't think I've earned that or deserve that after this last little couple of weeks hiatus. So we're just, for the time being, going to keep soldiering on. I'm going to, if if this ends up dying out again, I, well, that'll probably be the end of it, but we're not at that now. I'm at least going to notify people if that's the case, as of probably on Facebook, because that's where everything goes. I know I've been getting a few views on there, as probably for like people looking for updates, but we'll do this. Maybe I'll do another game or two on the side for like Tuesdays or Thursdays. I don't know yet. But thanks for sticking with it. Thanks for your patience slash understanding or whatever you want to call it. More GeoGuessr coming up soon. Thanks again. Take care of yourself and each other.